promise to support you. I promise to be your pillar of support and strength. For when you need me, whenever you need me. I promise to keep learning about who you are. What your dreams are. And fulfilling them with you. Through tough times, I promise to make peace my priority. And be your partner to face challenges together. I promise to keep our lives exciting, adventurous, and full of passion. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. From today, with God as our witness and guide, I will serve you as your faithful husband. I will serve you as your faithful wife. For better or worse. For rich or poorer. In sickness and health. For as long as we both shall live. According to God's holy ordinance. The two I give you my love. With this ring, I wed you. It is token of our vows. It is a token of my vows. And all my worldly goods and doubt to you. With it, I will myself and all my worldly goods and doubt to you. And the sight of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To Adrian, thank you for, for for having Catherine in your life. Since the first time I met you, I see kindness, I see patience, I see lots of love for Catherine in your eyes. And I'm proud to call you my brother. On behalf of everyone in our family, we welcome you Adrian to the family. And we look forward to this new chapter in both of your lives and may it be filled with happiness and joy. Having been in marriage uh, myself, a few words of wisdom I would like to share is for both of you to be generous with your patience for each other, love each other in abundance, laugh together every day, and always try to be better for each other.
So you need to understand something. There is no automatic happily ever after. So what have we learned today? Three things. All right, three habits. Number one, communicating with each other. Number two, be proactive. Number three, protect. Your